final of 2000, in the semi final of 2007. Put them five the hole. Finding Andres Iniesta. Lovely crisp passing again for Barcelona, and Leicester puts it in. It was slid back out again. Alexis Sanchez put it in, and it was Rafa as an Alexis who's defending tonight as well. I think the two might come into contact quite a few times. But well, we see it so many times, as I said, they... they... Here's Iniesta. And Pedro. The front start, good goalkeeping. Jordi Cadena came to punch it, Busquets fancies a shot from distance, it's ricochet, and there is no flag. And a chance for Fabregas, and a goal for Cesc Fabregas. Inside the first eight minutes of the game, Barcelona's pressure has been made to count. Well, it looked all far too easy, didn't it? It all started off with Sergio Busquets having that shot, which was uh, wickedly deflected. You saw the arms of the Hetafe players asking if it was going to be in an offside position, but it certainly wasn't as it came out to Pedro. And all he does, he has a little look up, he plays it to the far part of the six yard box. Says Fabregas, having a little look around. Roberto Largo had got caught by going towards the near post area, totally unaware that Cesc Fabregas was behind him. And it's a textbook header, heading it back the way the cross has come from. And it's a great start for Barcelona. Barcelona's goal-scoring record, Pedro, Neymar and Alexis have all scored hat-tricks in the great man's absence. Here's Fabregas again. Oh, there's a lovely touch on, and Adriano just beyond the outstretched Alexis Sanchez. Once again, great movement from Barcelona. And you just wonder whether or not that ball could have been laid along the surface rather than in the air from, from Adriano. Try and put it in between the, the centre-halves and the goalkeeper. But certainly he's a backs to the wall. Sarabia with the free kick, trying to silence the home ground. There's a lovely ball in. There's a chance for Borja Valero. Well, if I'm perfectly honest, John, that should be in the back of the net. It's a nice ball on this left-hand side, and Valero... He's got a free header. He's up against uh, Mascherano towards the far post. They're driving as well, Montoya's cross is defected. Jordi Cadena's coming all the way. Good goalkeeper, actually. It's decisive there. He's a Catalan teammate of a lot of these Barcelona players. And here's Fabregas. It's excellent work by Rafa again. Once again, you look at the, the triangular play between Montoya and Iniesta. And eventually to Fabregas, who tries to cross the ball, but once again it is well defended. And at times it's it's mesmerised, isn't it? It's, it's just so sharp, incisive, the passing. Mr. Short. Fabregas, it's a little switch, though, for what it. So it's we're over, I think. I just wonder whether or not that is a little code for Alexis Sanchez. That he rolls his little short up, his left-hand short, as if to say, well, I'm going to be involved in this. Target again, Juan Rodriguez, Enrique. It was touched on, it was great save by Pinto. Juan Rodriguez at the near post. I think got the significant touch on that before the goalkeeper Pinto. That was an excellent ball in from that left hand side. A lot of pace, a lot of whip. You're right in what you say, it's a great touch from uh, Juan Rodriguez, and there was Pinto. Very athletic towards a far post. It's a great save, just as Alexis was coming in. He's been good play with Gamelan as well. And then the fullback can cross in towards Cyprian Marika. Just had to lean back, but he was in space. Well, he certainly was, and if you look at the uh, the movement of Mascherano, he's got no idea where Cyprian Marika is. All he's doing is watching the ball as Roberto Lago plays that ball in. And he's very, very fortunate times. And we saw that game when he played against PSG. And he uh, certainly turned the, the game around. And yes, he's going to shoot from there. Jordi Cadena, great ball to hold on to it. Well, Andres India, in the SF, thought there was a little gap there. It was good, decent, hard side foot from just outside of the 18-yard box. 
Rafa doesn't really close him down quickly enough. Just nice little atmosphere. And there's no added time at the end of this break. Yet. Still poised. On back by Hatafe. Yeah. tackle to win it back by Mascherano. Pedro, great area. Oh, it's a whisk away. He came off a defender last. Alexis Sanchez diving to the ball. So close. It just seemed as if Alexis Sanchez had been shot uh, by a cannon, wasn't it? Now the old proverbial carnival tent. Great dive, but good opportunity there. But it all stemmed from a fantastic tackle by Mascherano. Yes, it is a corner. Good ball from Pedro in behind the centre half. The name shared by players on both sides. Fabregas. No power in the shot, easy enough for Jordi Cadena. Well, it was the uh, the right option to take from Cesc Fabregas. Has to just let that ball go across his body, try and side foot it in towards the far post. Again, you see the speed, the pace of Pedro. And the ball going through the legs of. Water watch done. Here's Alexis Sanchez. Well, it's cut back for Cesc Fabregas. Looks up for another one two. And Cardina makes the save. Once again, it's that incisive passing. It's going to be a case that he was going to pick the ball up and then realise that it wasn't a Hitachi player who had the last touch, so why do you have to pick the ball up? Very smart from, from Rafa. To mention to his goal. So the last thing they want to be doing, Hitachi, is. A little back heel by Marika to find Sarabia, shooting chance. And a save by Pinto. Good save as well. Well, it is a, a decent save from Pinto, but good. Buying himself or one of his teammates a bit more time. Pedro. Oh, now he's been brought down. It's going to be a penalty, it is. Well, if Messi had been on seconds earlier, he'd have been taking this, but Pedro took the free kick. They've won the penalty. Juan Valera sliding and taking his legs away after he'd been caught out by the quick turn. But you, you just wonder, John, is it a case that Pedro took the free kick quickly enough because it could be him who's coming off? Big smile on the face here for Pedro, surely not going to... Not even Messi. <laughs> Come off the bench and take a penalty. Says Van has scored a couple this season. He's the man. Got one tonight already. His tally into double figures for the season. They've scored freely without Messi. The one uh, Fabregas scored his penalty against Hetafe against Miguel Moya. He went to the goalkeeper's left. Jordi Cadena against Cesc Fabregas. No messing around at all by Fabregas, fires it into the back of the net. His second of the night to give Barcelona a breathing space. And without Messi, they keep on scoring. Well, they certainly do. And you're right in what you're saying. That's the third penalty that Cesc Fabregas has converted. As I said just moments ago, the one he scored against uh, Hitafe and Miguel Moya went to the goalkeeper's left. This time, certainly very incisive. He has that little stutter. Has a look at Kadena, but Kadena has got no chance whatsoever. The goalkeeper goes the right way, but it's high and wide of the keeper. It's an excellent penalty for Cesc Fabregas. And now listen to the atmosphere. Well, Messi's name has been ringing around the stadium. And Iniesta gets a breather, half an hour off for the return of Lionel Messi. Could have been out for nine games. That's the mark of the man, the measure of the affection. That is Pedro Fabregas. Here's a left. Alexis Sanchez with the shot. Good save. It's Messi's break. He was onside. Really timed run. Well, that was the opportunity where uh, Lionel Messi was trying to pull the trigger. But uh, there was uh, quite a few players in, in the way. It was Alexis in the way? Eventually forced the election because he has performed very well this evening. 
They aren't started rightly. This is now Diego Castro. We are on the ground. Diego Castro tried to curl one. And the goalkeeper into the top of the goal. Well, you can see Lafita, the corner of the 18-yard box, remonstrating with Diego Castro. Why didn't we just shift that ball on to me? There he is. He's going to be outside of Montoya. Asking for the ball, Montoya got himself a little bit more narrow than what he was, and that was mothballs are great. The goal found Messi. Bit of work to do yet for Lionel Messi. Here he goes, he's motoring and he puts it back with just over the head of Pedro. What a great combination goal that would have been. It certainly was. There you see the acceleration of Lionel Messi and the awareness just to stand that ball up toward the far post. Tanzimartino just hoping that he can just get another goal and possibly just think, well, that'll be the end of the tie. Quick look up there from Lionel Messi towards the far post. Great pace, great acceleration. Pedro very unfortunate in the end. Don't know whether he got a clip from one of the centre-halves, is he going to go and head that one? Tio. It's a lovely movement again by Martin Montoya, and it's Messi, and he's back, he's back with the goal. It's the perfect return the supporters inside the Camp Nou wanted to see. They welcomed him back like a hero, and the hero has delivered the third goal of the night for Barcelona. Well, the third goal of the night in his 15th so far of the season. There's a great ball into the path of Montoya. As we've seen many a times with Dani Alves when he makes that run in behind the fullback. Sergio Busquets just drags that ball back, plays it in behind Roberto Largo. Montoya doesn't have the greatest of touches to start off with, but eventually plays that ball into Lionel Messi. And all he has to do is just roll the ball into the back of the net. Great ball from Busquets, the willing run of Montoya and the ease of Lionel Messi. And the great one is back again. He's got the goal! Oh. And into the side netting. Why did I ever think he'd pass it? But the thing is, you look at the runner, and it's what, one, two, three, they are four paces. There's the curve, there's the pace on the ball. And what is he? 27, 28 yards out. Kadina. Oh, he's lit it up again tonight. Just a cameo appearance. A little slow off the mark in his first few minutes, but nothing to slow about Messi now. Here he goes. It's Messi again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Messi is just magnificent. Messi's back. And how happy we are to see him. The super. Super work of Lionel Messi yet again. Well, as you're right to say, 13 euros to come and see the world's greatest player. What a great, amazing other run from Lionel Messi. And as a defender, you're not sure which way he's going to go because he manipulates that ball so, so well. And I'm not sure whether there's a right foot or a Lexus in the end. He's backtracking, backtracking, sold himself for dummy. And it's a great little ball from Alexis Song to start off with. There's Messi in towards 18-yard box, up against Rafa, up against Alexis, and there's only going to be one winner. Still got a lot of work to do, but I can't understand why Rafa didn't commit him a little bit earlier than what he did. But don't take it away from the world's greatest player. What a great strike, what a great introduction back into the game, Lionel Messi. Messi is back. And it's just about killed this tie off here. Super